Is it, is it true that if you mess up on a dosage, right, or if you don't eat or drink at the right time or something, oh, yeah. you, you put yourself at risk of dying? Is that true or not true? Yeah, it's true. You know, if you know the physiology, okay, uh, this is how it works, and this is how I actually developed the program. So normally, right now, whatever your, your normal blood sugar level is, let's say 90 milligrams per deciliter, that's your, your normal, 70 to 90, and then you're going to eat some carbohydrates, obviously, Carbohydrates is going to increase the level of blood glucose and blood sugar level is going to uh, go up. And then, of course, your brain is going to uh, uh, signal to the uh, beta cells of pancreas, release insulin, bring it back to normal. That's how it normally goes. So insulin is released when your blood sugar level uh, goes up. So now if uh, you don't do nothing and you inject it, obviously, uh, it's going to lower your existing 90 milligrams per deciliter. And when you go to 60, 50, you're going to start feeling hypoglycemic, and yeah, you can go into a hypoglycemic coma and eventually die if you don't prevent it. But this is also a very interesting uh, fact physiologically. A lot of people that never experience anything about insulin intake or anything, but uh, they got a low blood sugar level, okay? And they're not experts, they're not doctors. What do they do? It's like almost physiologically uh, in your DNA instinct, run for a sugar. You know, you, you have a low blood sugar level, anybody, right, they, they run for a little bit of sugar. So if uh, anybody uses, obviously, insulin and get any hypoglycemic uh, episodes like or any symptoms like blurry vision, like, uh, you know, excessive sweating, then it's usually like, you know, tremors and uh, like circles around your uh, retina, right? Uh, that's a sign that you instantly need to take some glucose. So... This is dangerous. Yeah, if you are ignorant, if you inject it, I would always tell people, if you inject insulin, it's like a poison and you have to have an antidote. Antidote is amount of carbohydrates that is maintaining that blood sugar level that you're not going to go in a hypoglycemia. You know, so uh, Dave Palombo is uh, one of the guys that uh, I know I always have the bump heads. But Milos, why would you you know, feed that insulin, you inject insulin, now you have to have so many carbs. Yeah, first, uh, contrary to you that suggest taking insulin in the morning, long acting insulin is gonna work all day, why? In the morning when you're not gonna train, why would you take insulin for the love of God, right? I take it, fast acting, it is very easy to control, have a, you know, pharmacokinetic data that if you know, onset is in 15 minutes, peak in 45, strong action two hours, out in four hours. So these four hours, I have to monitor my, uh, my body and being under the influence, and I have to have an antidote, which happens to be a carbohydrate amount, which is not just there to cover the insulin. I want that insulin to shove this carbohydrate into my muscle or use you know, as a glucose, as a fuel for, for a muscle contraction during a workout. So you know, for me, it always made sense but I know that a lot of people are, uh, are judging me for it and say, oh, insulin guy, and you ruin bodybuilding and uh, you know, you're uh, affecting people that can die. No, they cannot die if they follow my protocol. No way. I mean, uh, I, I tell you this, how potent insulin is. If you have a hyperkalemia, right? Uh, and that happened with a couple of guys that, uh, in bodybuilding. Mustafa Muhammad was the last one. Uh, at Olympia 2004, I think, he was uh, rushing to the hospital. He had a hyperkalemia, too much potassium that can stop his heart in any moment. How do you think the doctors would uh, uh, save him? They instantly in, in injected uh, uh, IV insulin to, you know, take potassium out of the blood into the tissues. You know, so uh, if you know how to manipulate this logically, you know, that, uh, you know, something that makes sense, which made sense for me. This is why I started using it. So you mentioned, you mentioned the bubble guts. Um, so if not yeah. insulin, what, what do you think causes bubble guts? Well, you know, wrong usage of insulin can. Wrong usage at the wrong time, yes. You know, because uh, insulin is not selective. It's going to transport anything that is there. So if you have a glucose and amino acids, but if you have a triglycerides, it's also going to be transported. So there is a lot of intramuscular triglycerides also that you can shove it in if you have a, you know, uh, high-fat diet. So 
a lot of people are going into these ketogenic diets or, you know, having a certain amount of fats. I was always a carb guy. You know, whole, my, my whole career, uh, protein and carbs, protein and carbs, I had the minimal fats. So for me, it was the most logical. Now, when I had some of the clients I had to manipulate, I could see that, yeah, if you are uh, choosing to use insulin and you choose to say it's okay to use a little bit of fats because fat would slow down absorption, like, you know, some people are saying, I don't need slow absorption. You know, I want to absorb what I take and I want it fast. Why would I have a slower? You know, I want to dump it in. But uh, uh, what can uh, increase the uh, size of organs? Obviously, uh, growth hormone. And that was uh, noticed back in 70s and 80s. You could actually read in some studies. Um, uh, usage of, you know, some anabolics as well. You know, so there's combination. And obviously, uh, bodybuilding uh, type of overeating, you know, just uh, having a huge amounts of food at uh, some, you know, sitting. You know, th th this is, if you have to shut down five, six, seven, eight thousand calories a day, and uh, uh, you're doing this day in, day out, you know, it possibly can happen. It's a combination of things, basically. Yeah, combination of this. You know, I'm not going to say that insulin doesn't have a, any effect. But, uh, yeah, if you, if you uh, are wise and you do it at a certain times with specific diet, there is no danger. And, you know, this is why I want to tell you. I'm not a genetic freak or somebody who didn't. I use insulin, like I said, from 93 to 2003, every single show. And uh, look at my midsection. I mean, that's, uh, you know... It might not sound, you know, too good if I say one of the best midsections uh, in the 90s, but uh, I think so. Uh, I was very comfortable that uh, at that pose, I could stand next to anyone. 